In this video, I'm going to lay out to you a framework and a metaphor and how to resolve any conflict with your wife. You know, after years and years of arguments of the same issues, you start to feel hopeless. The worst part about it with guys is they don't understand how a woman views problems when it comes to their emotions. This is why guys feel completely confused after how 15 years later, your wife randomly in a conversation argument, she brings up how you flirted with that one woman at Applebee's 15 years ago, that waitress, and she never let it go. And you had no idea this was even a problem for her. And you're thinking to yourself, what other things are you holding against me? This all comes from a misunderstanding about how women communicate with their problems and issues. And in this video, I'm going to apply that framework and metaphor for you to understand how when she brings up those subsequent issues that come out of nowhere and you can't find resolution over it, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step action process on how to resolve any issue to sweep all that stuff from under the rug to lay a clean foundation to build a successful relationship on top of that. Because let me tell you, if you cannot deal with these perpetual issues, it's like corrosive acid slowly draining away and just eroding your relationship house that will eventually fall apart. Now, speaking of foundation, I have to lay out to you a fundamental foundational concept before we go into the metaphor. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to explain to you with my dating coaching days and how I convince guys that a woman's attraction process is different than a man's. For a woman and for even most guys, attraction is not a logical process. You don't look at a piece of paper and say to yourself, okay, you know, she has this hip to waist ratio. Uh, she's five foot seven and a half, not five foot eight. It's not a logical checklist. But a lot of men that I worked with in a dating space, they thought they convinced a woman logically to like them. So what did this look like? They would come to me and they would say, Josh, you know, this girl, like, I don't get it. She doesn't like me, but we like the same taste of music. We have both have dogs. We're both born in the same month. We have all these things logically in common. But even though she knows all that, she doesn't like me. I don't get it. Another example of how using logic to influence emotion, how that doesn't work is let's say a guy walked up to a girl and he's like, hey, I know this guy. I know this girl. Uh, she likes guys who are over six foot tall and she likes, you know, women like money too and women like this, like that. So he'll walk up to the girl. He'll flash his uh, Rolex. I got a Fitbit here, but he'll flash his Rolex. He'll like be like, oh yeah, you know, and uh, you got my business over here doing six figures a month actually. And uh, oh, yeah, I'm over six foot tall. Yeah, yeah, you notice. So as you can tell, that's a very needy energy. And what happens is that the woman feels that neediness and it's low value. And that low value influences the way she feels towards you. Okay, it's not the actual logical things that influences a woman's emotions. It's different processes I'm gonna to explain to you in this video. Now, the same way that decision-making process with attraction applies to your relationship with your wife comes in the form of problems. That whenever she brings up an issue or a problem, you're thinking to yourself, why should she be upset about such a small thing if I just took her out on a date? Perfect example, the other day I was working with Ryan. He's in my marriage mastery program. And Ryan was telling me, Josh, I went on this amazing date with her. I got a promotion at work and it was a great night. And then all of a sudden, I didn't tip the waiter as much as she thought. We had a huge argument about that and it ruined the whole night. Why could she just let that go and see that all these, it was a great night, I, I provided her with dinner and all these things. You see, in his mind, she should let that small indication, that small little problem go because of everything else that he did for her. He fails to understand that a woman's mind and emotions work vastly different than a man's. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how right now through this iceberg metaphor and how to influence your wife to let go of those problems and do the right things to make her feel understood and safe with you. I'm gonna use a different example actually with my friend Kyle. Um, Kyle, he's a good friend of mine and he, he brought up a situation with his wife the other day that I wanted to bring up with you. So the situation was that he did not take out the trash. And he told me how this was a huge monumental thing that turned into a huge blowout. And I helped him through this iceberg, initiation iceberg metaphor, how to make sense, okay? Around this whole entire thing. In this situation, his wife had a view emotions and opinion on what happened and what it meant to her. Kyle, on the other hand, had a completely different perspective. See, in Kyle's perspective, his main argument was that in the grand scheme of things, taking out the trash a little bit too late is not a big deal, right? That she should let it go. This is not a problem worth fighting for. Pretty convincing argument, right? It's just the trash, right? But what he failed to understand deeply about female psychology is that to his wife, maybe you've heard this, it was more than just the trash. See, to his wife, she made additional meaning behind the lack of the action behind not taking the trash out. You see, to her, it was about her emotions and what it meant about her needs, right? These li this is why women will say the littlest things matter to them. Because to his wife, in her opinion, by him not doing that, she felt disrespected. And when it comes to the relationship, that he was not a man of integrity. This little situation 
gave her a whole different opinion about Kyle, her husband, and her emotions. And by Kyle trying to convince her logically that it's not a big deal, it only made her feel more disrespected and showed he did not take her seriously. Now, here's what I told Kyle. I said, Kyle, above the iceberg is all the logic. This is the content. This is the words, the logic. This is what I call the content. Underneath this, are the core values, emotions, and what I call the process. Process is the type of relationship you have with your partner. Now she was able to verbalize this because she's a smart woman, but how she felt and the relationship that it caused her, and that's more than just the trash, but Kyle failed to understand this greater context. And when you can understand the deeper underlying cause and emotions and values and all these things that they have underneath the surface of the problem, you can operate from there to the core. And when you can address the core needs and core problems, your wife feels understood, and that understanding is what changes her emotions around things. So from the emotional set point, what I told Kyle is, the first thing you do is you don't try to convince her emotions through logic. You repeat back how she feels. So I said, tell your wife this, honey, I understand by simply me not taking out the trash, you feel disrespected. You've asked me plenty of times, and I don't listen to you. And you just, you don't feel like I respect you that much. Now, a lot of guys fail at doing this because they think by admitting that they're wrong, that they're not good enough or that she has one over them. It's actually the opposite of the case. By taking responsibility, that's a high value trait. Take responsibility. And actually, it makes her feel more calm. And from that calm space, she's able to talk to you in a more logical manner. You see how it's counterintuitive? By addressing the emotions, the emotions go away and she can speak to you in a rational manner. By trying to use logic, it makes her more emotional. The second thing I said was the process. Now, in Gestalt therapy, there's something called the I-Thou relationship. This is basically the process of the relationship. So in the context of the situation that he did not take out the trash, to her, it meant something about how he views his wife. She says to herself, subconsciously or otherwise, by him not doing this, he doesn't respect me and my needs. That if he doesn't do something simple as taking the trash out, how can I expect him to do bigger things for me when I need him? Now, from Kyle's perspective, he thinks, yeah, of course I'll do these things for you. This is something small. But to a woman, the small things matter. I'll say that again, the small things matter. So I said, also Kyle, after you reflect her emotions, you're gonna focus on a statement of process of I thou, which is, honey, I understand that when I do this, you feel disrespected, that's the emotions, and you want me to understand that these little things matter and how I view you in the relationship, and they do matter to you a lot. And I should respect these things that you need because it shows a respect toward you. He's making statements towards the process, towards the relationship between them two based on a small situation. Then I talked about the last part, the third component, which is the common values. This is the deepest level of the relationship. I said, Kyle, you have to find middle ground. After you understand her through the emotional process, after you talk about the relationship, you need to find a common middle ground. This is the compromising conversation. Now, Kyle and his wife have similar core values in respect, in cleanliness, in integrity. I said, Kyle, after you take the first step of understanding her emotions, after you talk about the I-thou relationship and how it's important to her and to you in a relationship, you then say, look, moving forward, I understand that you want me to respect and so do I. I understand that you want me to do what I say and so do I. And I understand that we both want a clean house. So when they found the common values, they then made statements of the conversation and geared towards the common values. From the common values, they had a mutual understanding about how to move forward when these things happen in the future. And when now, whenever there's discord and conflict with his wife about the smallest things, he's able to use his iceberg metaphor to reflect her emotions, reflect the I thou statement, and then share the common values. And from there, the wife feels understood. She feels like you're listening to her. And because she has that emotional understanding, she lets go of the logical problem. Men and women have more commonalities and differences, but one of the key differences is how we process emotions and the way we communicate those. Now, this whole metaphor is just one of many ways in how to understand your wife's personal blueprint. There's passing your tests and a lot of other variables that come into understanding a woman and her female psychology. If you feel like you need support around how to understand your wife so that constant distance doesn't create a separation between the two of you eventually, what you can do right now is I want you to click the link down below. You'll fill out an application. We have a limited spots per week if you're serious about making your relationship better and saving the marriage. Set up a call with me or my marriage evaluator what we'll do is we'll give you your wife's personal blueprint based on the decisions and history you have with her and what to do to move forward, to feel more understood by each other, to get closer than ever, to have a relationship that you deserve. Thank you for watching the video. Smash like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you in the next one.